Hey everyone, Rogue Gold here, and today I thought it would be beneficial for me to sit down and provide everyone with a big ol' recap of every bit of news, updates, and information we've received so far regarding Division 2's upcoming TU-13 or otherwise unnamed update, because in a lot of my videos recently, I'll throw out a line like, the developers have confirmed this, or this was said by this person on this date, and some of this information dates back four, five, or six months, so consider this a 2021 recap of every morsel of information we have regarding the Division 2's future. In total, I've collected 15 snippets of articles, news dumps, and tweets to share with you all that should give everyone the full context of the discussions people have been holding for the past several months, and honestly, it does give us a pretty solid idea of what to expect from TU-13, including some clear examples that back up my predictions and claims of both when I think it's releasing, which is December, and the scale I think we can anticipate it being something akin to 1.8 from The Division 1. So if that sounds useful to you, then grab a snack and strap in, because we're going to dive way into the past to give us an idea of what to expect for the future. Two quick things before we begin. One, because some of this information was later deleted online, I had to refer to a few of my fellow content creators' videos to get the screen grabs of this deleted information. So special thanks and shout out to Lieutenant Buzz, Lightbeer, and Epic Slayers for providing a few of these images. I will leave links to both of their channels down in the description below, and I encourage you to check them out. Additionally, to save myself from saying I'll be putting this up on screen a hundred times throughout the course of this video, just know that every bit of evidence I'm providing here, there will be a visual component up on screen for you to check out. Uh, so just do me a favor and lock your eye center screen for me. Thanks. All right. Are we ready? Okay, let's dive into every detail we know regarding The Division 2's upcoming TU-13 update. And side note, all of this information will be presented in chronological order from the first details we heard about Year 3 content to our most recent update, beginning with February 10th of 2021. On this date was the fiscal 2020 quarter 3 earnings report held by Ubisoft, where we got our first confirmation that we'd be receiving Year 3 content for The Division 2. At this time, we had heard nothing ever since getting the news that Massive was developing a uh, new Star Wars game. So Division Vision's fate was truly up in the air, and this helped ease a lot of people's minds, because trust me, it was not a cheerful place around here back at the beginning of this year. The interesting detail about this news drop was it's the only time we've ever gotten teases for content coming after TU-13, where Ubisoft CEO Yves Guillemot said that there would be Division 2 content in both 2021 and 2022, and we haven't heard anything about that since, so we'll have to keep our eyes out on that moving forward. Next up, though, two days later, on February 12th of 2021, is when we got our official confirmation by the Division team that there will be Year 3 content for the Division 2. That kind of piggybacked off of the announcement in that earnings call. The only relevant detail here is that it's the first place where we got a direct link between the specific TU-13 update and a 2021 release, whereas Eves was a lot more ambiguous when he was talking about the general, you know, new stuff coming to Division 2, uh, so keep that in mind moving forward. Then we go to February 25th of 2021, where former Division community developer Johan quells the kind of rising community concern at the time about another level increase, stating, just jumping in here to say that we have no current plans to increase the level cap in the coming content. This is what I I am often referring to when I respond to people's questions regarding the possibility for another level increase, but it does potentially contradict later on official comments, so let's put this one on hold for now, but just keep in mind that according to the devs, at the time in February, they had no plans for it. Then we move to March 5th of 2021, where we get our big announcement about the details behind this new content, including some of what to expect and who's working on it. I want to read this one directly because it's all very relevant information, so let's get to that right now. So what's next for The Division 2? As announced a few weeks back, we've begun work on new content for The Division 2. The development of this content will be led by a group of project veterans at Ubisoft Massive. This will see Adrian Traska and Yannick staying at the helm of the project as producer and associate creator director. We are also excited to announce that the new content will be made with the support of a talented group of developers at Ubisoft Bucharest. In the next major update, we are looking to bring a game mode that is entirely new to the franchise. Along with the game mode, we are investigating new ways to progress your agent with an emphasis on increasing build variety and viability. We will be revealing more about what lies ahead as the update gets closer. The development of this new update is still in its early stages and will take several months to complete. As a result, our next major update is currently scheduled for late 2021 at the earliest, we will be taking this time to make sure we bring a meaningful change to the game. So, the big takeaways here, remember the wording they use when describing the new game mode and progression options, because this changes later on, and it may be relevant to both this and Johan's comments about a level increase. Also, here is the point at which they give themselves an out for possibly delaying into 2022. A lot of people have said, well, if they delay at this point, you know, TU-13, then they'll have lied to us by saying it was coming in 2021. Well, 
not technically, because since, and we'll see moving forward, their language around the release date has done nothing but solidify around a late 2021 date, which is largely why I'm still confident that we're going to see this in December, but they have you know, said in the past that they will delay if necessary. I think back in March, the release window was a lot harder to predict for them, given how early on they were in the development of this new content. But the later they got into the year, the easier it was to tell that they were on track for that original date. So that was certainly an important info drop. Now we have several tweets from the developer shortly after this big news with a few additional details about what to expect. And this ranges from the same day of March 5th to March 9th of 2021. First off, this one isn't super news related, but it is one of the only times we've gotten direct developer comment regarding their thoughts on the new content. So it's uplifting if nothing else. So we have Trick saying, I'm so damned excited for what we're building in year three. It's going to be a long journey, but it's going to be worth it. And that's, uh, you know, all we've wanted all along, the way to be worth it. So let's hope that her interpretation and excitement carries over to our own thoughts once we see what's in store. Okay, and then we have a few comments from Yannick, who again is the creative director on the game at this point, or the associate creative director and the one leading this new content. Uh, first off, replying to someone saying they're disappointed by the idea of this new update just bringing a new game mode and some new building options. And this is where I base a lot of my speculation that we're going to see a pretty substantial update, not a full paid expansion in my opinion, but something comparable to 1.8, as I said before. And so in regard to this person saying they're disappointed at the prospect of this update offering just those two attractions, Yannick says it's just the tip of the iceberg. There's a lot of things we'd like to do, but it's too early to say if they'll make it or not. We love this game just as much as everybody in the community, and we want to do it justice with a good update that should be full of surprises. So there you have it, enough said. I'm still writing the good vibes of this tweet for March, Yannick, so I'm, I'm really counting on you here. All right, you better deliver. Then we have a minor comment where he hints at the possibility of this update including new photo mode functionalities. And then we have another developer comment about the release window, and again, where I've been basing my claims that this new update will indeed bring a new season to the game. In response to Kamikaze Von Doom inquiring about the ambiguity of this new content's release window, Yannick says, we'll try to avoid delaying as much as possible, but we have a long road ahead, so we'll evaluate as things progress. Regarding future seasons, yes, we'll rotate the ones from year two until we can deliver a new one with this future update. So again, back in March, things were much more up in the air as to the release window, but you'll see as we move on that they continue to firm up on the late 2021 date. And we basically get confirmation there that this update will bring a new season. At least that's what we were planning or that what they were planning on back then, which we will again come back to very shortly. And then we get another detail as Yannick was responding to inquiries about the potential, um, you know, possibility of seeing more legendary mode missions, uh, specifically Manning Zoo and Tidal Basin, to which he says that's definitely on the list of things we'd like to investigate for the future. So there you have it. Next up, March 31st of 2021, where Trick Dempsey, who is now one of the most senior game devs remaining on the Division 2 team at Massive, did an interview with IGN in which she gave some clues to the future of the Division 2 story in this update and beyond, which I think is absolutely relevant and related to the new season that Yannick alluded to. When asked about if the Division 2 story would provide us some closure in the coming content, she said, The Division is an ongoing story, so we're not going to be providing total closure anytime soon, she confirmed. This past year has seen the deaths of major characters, so we'll need to promote some supporting characters into the spotlight. The Sokolov family is still making trouble, Barden Schaefer is still in custody, the Division may not have a hierarchy, but it is still reeling from the loss of one of its most prominent agents. The crisis which activated the Division is far from over. It's cool to see her reference Barden's captivity, uh, since it hasn't really been referenced in games since Season 3 and when it happened, and I think it's another indication of the likelihood that we see the Sokolovs continue to progress into the story and the future seasonal targets, as well as her alluding to the idea that this update isn't the end for the Division or its story, which I think most of us knew, you know, deep down, but it's still good to hear it from someone who's behind the wheel. Then we skip ahead to May 6th of 2021, where we get the big... Uh, Division Universe announcement, including Heartland's reveal, which was, of course, super exciting. But focusing in on the Division 2 section is where we get some really interesting details, because in the two months from May, or sorry, from March to May, where we got similar recaps as for what to expect from TU13, their verbiage changed significantly in one regard. That being on the emphasis where we were told we are investigating ways to progress your agent with an emphasis on increasing build variety and viability. This more recent update states and new methods for leveling your agents with an emphasis on increasing build variety and viability. Does this mean anything? Maybe, or maybe not. It's an interesting detail to change. Now to circle back to Johan's comments, he said in February that they had no plans to do a level increase at that time. Is it possible that they changed their minds once they began developing this content? Absolutely. Is it also possible that the people writing these articles just harmlessly swapped the words progressing and leveling when in actuality nothing had actually changed behind the scenes? 
Absolutely. We're just going to have to wait for more details at this point, but it is important to remember for when we do begin to hear more information. Then we move a few days later to May 11th of 2021, where we begin to see our first examples of them firming up on a 2021 release date, as I've been trying to tell you guys all along. This was another Ubisoft investors call where alongside the Greater Division Universe news, they specifically said brand new content as part of the Division 2 update will be coming late calendar 2021. Okay, I've gotten a lot of people telling me recently that they just said 2021. It could come in March because that is still fiscal 2021. Well, if you look two lines up, they specifically say that Heartland has a has a you know fiscal 2021 deadline but it's specified that the Division 2's content is coming by the end of calendar 2021 which is December like I've been saying so we'll just have to see what shakes out then on June 7th of 2021 where the official Twitter account shares the info the division will not be attending E3 and once again this says that new content for the division 2 is on track for the end of the year and I think that yet again this is another signifier that as the year progressed like Yannick said earlier on they were able to evaluate their progress and hone in on a December 2021 release window so stay tuned as far as that is concerned. Then on July 23rd, we have a since-deleted tweet from a Division 2 art developer, Ad Massive, who in response to questions regarding a job listing for the Division 2, said that actually I need this person for new gear sets, exotics, and manhunt targets. Yes, also apparel events. So... There you have it. When I keep saying that we're going to see new gear, exotics, and whatnot in this new update, this is the information I'm referring to. And I have no doubt this ties into the new season that Yannick commented on, which of course uh, Palai here references when he says that they'll be designing new mana targets. So there you go. And then we get to our last two updates within the last two weeks here. Most of you are probably aware of these, but this is a full recap, so let's quickly go over Yannick's recent comments. On August 30th, he relayed the new update would bring game-wide changes that would directly impact PvP. This is likely in reference to the increased build variety and viability claims. And then on September 9th, only a few days ago, he commented on Season 7's current 22-week in-game timer, letting us know that while it is intentional that it is displayed that way, it's not representational of the actual planned ending date for Season 7. Rather, it is a placeholder to avoid revealing the actual target date for TU13's release. Many have taken this and used it to feed their arguments that this supports the idea the content is still five to six months away in a March of 2022 release slot, but I would hope that the information we just covered in this video would convince you otherwise, because I'm still fully sticking with the idea that we're going to see TU13 in December of 2021. And there you have it, guys. That is a full recap of everything we know regarding TU13, aka The Division 2's upcoming unnamed update. That was a lot. When you look at it in a collective format like this, you can actually begin to see that we, you know, actually have quite a few details about the update. When you clump everything together, you can fairly and, you know, um, justly extrapolate that this new update is likely coming in December of this year, and it will bring to the game the following. A game mode that is entirely new to the Division franchise, new progression and leveling opportunities for your agent with an emphasis on increasing build variety and viability, TBD on if this means an actual level increase or not. We can expect to see a new season alongside this update, bringing us new gear sets, exotics, apparel events, and of course new mana targets to the game. The story will definitely continue and include and progress the Sokolov family's involvement in the current events, and it's very likely that we'll see new legendary difficulty content, perhaps in the form of new difficulty options on Manning Zoo and Tidal Basin, and we're in for a whole lot more surprises that will likely elevate this update to the level of something like Update 1.8 for The Division 1, which brought updates and improvements to almost every corner of the game, redefining the experience of what it meant to play The Division 1. And then looking to the future, we can probably expect more Division 2 content in 2022, and if nothing else, then don't expect the story to wrap up in TU13. It will be continued on one day in some form or another. Thank you all so much for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and be sure to subscribe with notifications on so you can be updated every time I upload. Let me know your thoughts on if this recap of info we have regarding TU13 has brought anything new to mind. Do you have any updated theories or predictions about the new content or its release date now that it's been presented in a condensed format? Certainly let me know all of that down below. I swear at this point I can taste news and information coming our way. I think we are truly at the cusp of finally finding out what TU13 has in store for us after all these months of waiting since it's announcement, so I hope you will all join me on the journey once it's revealed at last. All right, well, that's going to do it for me, guys. I really hope this video was informative and helpful in clearing up some misconceptions about the coming update, but yeah, once again, thank you all so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful day, and until the next one, guys, Rogue Gold, out.